our next guest on the show, Governor Ventura. Jesse. Hey, how you doing? How are you, pal? Doing well, thanks. I was just talking about, uh, you have said on this program and others that you believe you believe the government was complicit in the events of 9-11. So uh, if you believe that, do we have any right to assassinate Osama bin Laden? Well, what's interesting about it is this. How come he was never indicted for 9-11? Yeah, well, so do we have the right to kill him? Well, it's, apparently we do. You know, apparently we don't have to follow the rule of law anymore in our country that... Uh, we can just convict someone in the court of public opinion, and we can convict them in the media, and that's good enough, I guess. So in your opinion, then, you, you would agree with some who said he deserved a trial? I, well, I, I would love to see the evidence personally, like this whole deal in Guantanamo now. Yeah. They're not going to hold it in the public courtroom, so we're not going to hear any of the evidence they have. And uh, I guess they'll allow the waterboarding now and the confessions because it's no longer court where torture is illegal. And we're going to get told that these guys were all convicted and we'll put them all to death and that'll be the end of it. And yet we'll hear or see no evidence whatsoever. But yet waterboarding and wiretapping led, at least in part, to the execution of an evil man who killed thousands. You don't agree that we need to do that? No, not at all. I'm vehemently opposed to it because waterboarding and wiretapping led to nothing. Oh. Waterboarding did not find bin Laden. You don't believe that the information that led to the courier, that led to us finding where bin Laden was, was gained via enhanced torture techniques? Really? Well, then what do we stand for? Well, uh, I think First we... of all, torture techniques don't get you the truth. Uh, all right, let me give you this one. How come we didn't do enhanced torture techniques on uh, Timothy McVeigh? Well, because I think, in a sense, we were going to uh, we put him to trial, and we did. I mean, I, so you're saying that we should have done the same thing with Osama bin Laden, even though we had videotape, we had audio tape of him confessing to what he did. Well, initially he didn't confess. Initially, when 9/11 happened, he told the AP he didn't have nothing to do with it. And then, amazingly, we found those tapes over in those caves, didn't we? Yes, but I mean, that, so you and think you, that... You, and, and, okay, let's remember now, they lied about Pat Tillman's death, didn't they? Yes. And they lied about Jessica Lynch's recovery, didn't they? I, I guess, yes. And they lied about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, didn't they? Well, I don't know. I, I would just go And they lied about part. ties to Al-Qaeda in Iraq, didn't they? And they lied about the Gulf of Tonkin incident back in Vietnam, didn't they? Yes, the Gulf of Tonkin. Now, do you believe then that they are lying that the SEALs did not kill? Your, your fellow Navy SEALs did not kill Osama bin Laden. I have no idea. I don't know. Well, uh, I wasn't on the mission. I can only believe what my government's told me, and my government has lied to me so often in the last decade alone, they have no credibility with me. Are you pissed that The Rock knew before you did? That who? That what? The Rock. The, 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 the Rock <laughs> Dwayne was Johnson. Dwayne, Dwayne got the information before everybody else from the SEALs. How did he do that? He, 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 was, he was tweeting about was, it like yeah. hours before the White House announced it. Well, uh, it, 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 that ought to tell you volumes right there, shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Vince McMahon organized this whole conspiracy. He, he, he organized the rocket. Yes, Baz, what I'm, is I'm it? curious. So do you think that this basically lends itself to Osama bin Laden being a patsy? We've killed him. He's gone. And that's the end of 9-11. The government had nothing to do with it. It was clearly bin Laden, and we wiped him out. Exactly. <laughs> That's what you're going to get right now. And may I suggest, I'm here pushing a book called 63 Documents the Government Doesn't Want You to Read. Yes. There's, a, there's a great book out by Judy Wood, BS, MS, PhD in Physics, called Where Did the Towers Go? And it's evidence of a directed free energy technology on 9-11. He couldn't have did what happened. Did you know 1,400 cars were, uh, were toasted that day? I didn't know the exact number. I did know some cars were, but yes, what, what is that? Now, how does that happen when they're on the FDR that they blow up in flames? Well, it works like a microwave oven. You can take a piece of chicken and put it on a paper plate and stick it in the microwave. The chicken will burn, yet the paper won't, will it? I guess, I, yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. LB is talking your language, food. You know well, the point that. is, people better wake up to the technology that, like they always say, we're 20 years beyond what we know. All right. So in your, and, and, and this is an interesting theory, is that 
you believe that the government is essentially, they essentially killed Osama bin Laden as a patsy for what we did on 9-11? Not necessarily. No. I don't necessarily, I don't believe anything because we've never been told the truth about 9-11 since day one. Do you think he's dead? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think he may have been dead for a while. I you don't think, know. Oh, you think he might have been mm. dead for years? It could have been. Yeah. Because after all, Bhutto said he was dead before she got uh, killed. So you probably want to see the photos then. Yeah, absolutely I'd love to. And I want to see the trial, not in Gitmo, I want to see the trial in the United States so I, I can see some evidence. Well, I do. T I mean, you raise well, some interesting wait, points. If, if you're the president and he's already dead, why not wait till till the election? Oh, till well, look at it this way: we had a trial at Nuremberg, didn't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How come we're not holding them anymore? How come we don't have trials anymore when I we agree. actually tried the Nazis? Well, we, we Jesse, why, 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 why can't? Well, okay, so then the, let's send these guys back, and, and they can be tried on their own soil uh, under the laws and, and whatever. <laughs> and they're in their, their, their own. No, country. no, no, no. You you try them in either Philip. You try them either in Pennsylvania. You try them in Virginia or you try them in New York. That's where the crime was yeah. committed. That's what the Constitution yeah, but they're, they're not, says. No, they're not but American, then again, not we don't follow they're, they're the Constitution Americans, or the Bill of Rights they're, anymore, do we? They're not American citizens, my friend. That doesn't matter. Oh, well, that's why, that's why Tim McVeigh was trying That doesn't here. matter. So you're telling me that if somebody comes here... If somebody comes here on vacation from Italy and they commit a crime, yeah, they we get can waterboard them and hold them and well, not the, give them any rights? <laughs> oh, you're the man, Jesse. So we're not waterboarding people for jaywalking. I mean, we're talking about trying to get information that can save lives. And, yeah, and, and well, by then the way, how the, come we didn't do it to Tim McVeigh and the guy at Oklahoma City? Well, because, well, because it, again, because it was a, it wait was a, a different minute. time. A lot of people we thought there were more people involved well, in that. There we weren't at war, though. I mean, we weren't at, this is a, this is Who a. Who are we at war with? We're at war with jihadists. terrorists. We're with, with jihadists, with Al-Qaeda. Who are they? What country are they? <laughs> Well, I don't know. We don't have to necessarily be at war. So well, in other well, words, they're kind of like the Hell's again, Angels or the Crips and the Bloods, right? <laughs> again, Jesse, you're making you're it. making our point for us. I mean, the, you I know, it. that's why that's why it can't, it can't be done in a normal fashion. You have to. Yes, it can be. If you arrested five Hell's Angels, you wouldn't try them with a military tribunal, would you? No. And they're part of an organization that's involved in crime. Yeah. Yep. I, I, again, they're not. Mm -hmm. uh, again, yeah, they're the, not, the they Hell's Angels are the country. The Hell's Angels. How do you, the them, Hell, how do you bring in the they're military American citizens, Jesse? They don't represent the country. They're, they're well, American they citizens, de Jesse. They haven't, de and they de Hell's Angels haven't declared war on America. Either. See, the yeah. bottom line is this. Yes. The bottom line is we're not following our own rules, and if we don't follow our own rules of law, even when it's inconvenient. Then we stand for nothing. I'm just right. pumping you, Jesse. Right. I'm just pumping you. you. Um, I appreciate, as always, it's a treat having you, you on. And uh, I appreciate it. Get his book, 63 Documents the Government Doesn't Want You to Read. There's and the when you read that book, you'll find out that, yes, indeed, our government can be evil. Evil, just like Osama bin Laden. In many ways, yeah. Wait till you read these documents. That's, All right, that's, Governor. That's, that's sketchy, Governor. Thank you.